everybody keeps saying Damian Lillard is going to be traded to the Knicks. Damian Lillard is going to be traded to the Heat. Damian Lillard should be traded to the Celtics. Damian Lillard is going to be traded to the Nets. If one of those trades went went through out of those teams, which one would you be like, ah, that's not too bad? <laughs> Miami, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Miami is the obvious one, and Bam is my dog. Bam is my dog, for real. But, I mean, I think Miami the obvious one. Brooklyn is the obvious one. Is another obvious one because Mikael Bridges is my dog, too. So, uh, Damian Lillard, you know, does this suggest that he might be open to potentially parting ways, you know, with Portland? What are your thoughts on, uh, on, on what he said there? I don't know, and I honestly don't care anymore. I'm so tired of this conversation. I feel like I have this conversation about Dame once in NBA season, sometimes more. Mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, it's kind of like at the end of the day, only Dame can change Dame's trajectory. Mm -hmm. it, it, like at the end of the day, like it, it's it, he, he kind of teeters the line, right? He sprinkles these breadcrumbs of possibilities of moving on and you get as a dame fan you get excited because i think that dame's one of those players even if you're not a dame fan i feel like he's one of those players you want to see win because mm -hmm. he has done it the way of the old school guys before him you know he hasn't really requested trades he's tried to do it in one city and you want him to reap the benefits of that. You know, you kind of want to see in this case, the good guy win, you know, the bad guys are the guys who jump from city to city to, you know, increase their chances of winning a championship. And you kind of root against those guys. That's why everyone loves to root against Kevin Durant because they hate the way he did it. Dave's one of those guys that you love the way he's done it. You love the way he's approached his career. Do so we really him... still really Ashley, or are we, like you said, we're tired of no, it. I'm saying for and the, then for, also, for, are for we people start... who value that they, they appreciate that about Dame. Like for people I, I know. who really value that they appreciate the fact that he's stayed in one city and has Me tried too. to make it work. But now is it, is it working against him though? Right? Like, think about this. It's to the point now where we're like, yo, bro, we get it. We love you. Right? Like, we want to see you win. We want what's best for you. What are you doing? No, I agree. I'm one of those people at this point. Like, I'm a huge Dame fan. And I'm just kind of like Dame. In one, right. in one conversation, you'll hear him say, we have all the pieces that we need in Portland. We have a great group of young guys. If we can't get it done here in Portland, then, you know, I don't know what the future holds. And then you'll hear him say things like, yo, well, Miami, New York, Boston, wherever he said, Brooklyn. And it's like, okay, but which one is it, Dame? Like, I, I hear what you're saying. And I hear you, but I also right, know you're going right, back to Portland. Right. So, like, while this is fun to kind of, like, talk about and, you know, question, like, oh, what would Dame look like in a Miami uniform? We all know that Dame's going back to Portland. Uh, I don't Probably. know. Probably. 99% <laughs> sure he's going back there. Yeah. Liv, what's Brooklyn. your thoughts, though? Because I, mean, I thought how quickly he answered to those hypothetical tra trades, like, suggested something. But I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Liv? I would like to believe that it does, but I'm with Ash. It's the same old thing, different day. I think he's flirting with the idea, but I'm not sure it'll really land. I mean, when I look at the teams that they talked about, the Heat don't need Dame. I mean, they're in the NBA Finals. They're doing just fine. The mm -hmm. Celtics could potentially use a guard, but I don't think that he's going to feel as needed as he wants to feel at a place like uh, Boston. Uh, the, the Knicks certainly don't need him. Brunson's been doing what he needs to do. So I don't... To me, Dame's a lover boy, which I think is why he taps into that loyalty so much. I think he really is a lover boy, and I think he likes feeling needed. And in those other places, I don't think he's as needed as he is yeah. in Portland. Like, in Portland, Dame is that guy. Now, if he goes to any of these other teams, he no longer is the most important and and i love dame i seriously i it's like i don't even like to criticize dame because i think he's just awesome mm -hmm. all around um but i think he's a lover boy and i think that he'll find the most <laughs> love and attention boy. In <laughs> so I think, yeah, yeah he's i a, think he's brandon wants you to justify brandon, the lover boy. Yeah, he, totally. he, he's you ever see that meme of the guy where he's walking with his girl and he turns around and he's like but he doesn't he doesn't let go of his girl's hand that's name, name. like that he, yeah. he's totally he's, totally right he's holding hands he's holding hands with portland but hey, he's listen. also he got a, he's got a wandering eye to see what else is out there but he he's Ashley. not making no jump he's not divorcing his wife he's not breaking mm -hmm. up with his girl you know he's, he's comfortable boy. What about the, while he may you know, dabble he may he may slide in a dm here or there send a little <laughs> eye emoji a little <laughs> wink <laughs> 
you know, double I, tap on the photo. Heart the story. Yeah. 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 He heart the story a few times, you know, oh, hit her, hit her up with a, what are you doing in the DMs, but never, <laughs> you know, respond when she hits him back. He's not, he's not leaving his main chick. He's just, mm. he doesn't, with all he's that, not prepared to do it. With all that being said, Ashley, I'm going to say this. Walking in slippery places, you eventually fall. Dame Lillard, because of mean? everything you just said, mm -hmm. right? He's moving on. This is the off season of Dame Lillard. Oh my gosh! Yes, it needs and it's going to be the biggest story in NBA. You know, this off season, Dame Lillard does it. He finally did it. The lover boy, okay, <laughs> finally <laughs> flirted too much and got right. caught. He got uh -huh. caught slipping. Right. It'd be that one video, Ash. Like, oh, no, you went too far. Mm. <laughs> you you got too far. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's happening. I really do. I really do. Because, Ash, what has he done, you know, over the last five years having this conversation? He's always used that as an opportunity to double down on his loyalty and how he approaches the game. He didn't do that this yeah. time. Dame didn't come out Switch. and say... Yo, no, y'all know how I feel. You know I ain't leaving Portland. I'm not chasing. It can come to me, but I'm not chasing this way. He didn't do that. He entertained it, which tells me that the flirting is turning into a potential affair, mm. right? Like, it might be some agents calling and connecting. There might be some teams finally reaching Brandon, out. But, it, but it's also a very expensive affair. It's an expensive divorce. He makes $60 million a year. He can't get that anywhere else? It's a, it'll Who's be a trade. Who's gonna pay him that though? Hey, who Especially would, if they don't, I don't mean, need him. You heard the second. The thing team is, the thing is, it's like you have to look at it outside of the talent. You have to look at the money, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know if he makes sixty million. That may be exaggeration. Mm -hmm. I think it's close. I think that, to that is that, close though. though. He did. He is one of the highest. Like he players. makes a lot of money, right? And in order to go ahead and trade for a player with that kind of a salary, you have to gut a lot of your team. And I love Dame love him we're not talking a 25 year old damian lillard so if you're a team like the new york knicks if you're a team like the brooklyn nets you know a lot of the teams that he mentioned if you're a team like the miami heat how much of your team are you willing to part with to get a player like dame and then also you have to look at it from what can you go ahead and build with him on your team now that you have gutted a lot of your your supporting cast to get him what's left and you don't want to be in a position where you're just relying on two guys to lead a team and you don't have anything else to surround him with that's the problem he has in portland which is why he hasn't been able to win mm. you need to still have him with a team that is conducive to help him win okay. and i just don't know with that kind of a salary the teams that he has mentioned now if there are teams that are not on that list that he's willing to go to, okay. But we're talking about teams who are in the NBA Finals, like Liv said. We're talking about the New York Knicks, who are just one piece away. But one have piece, really good whoa. Cap. They Ash, are one you're piece going one. too They're one far. Super far away. It's, it's Ash, you're right going too yeah, you see, far. Ash, you're trying to steal it? BC's probably talking I was riding with Ash. Ashley. If I ain't cutting you I off, Ash, you know I'm riding thing. with you. <laughs> Ashley, come on. The Knicks are one superstar away. Oh, the Knicks are close. That's a lot of teams. I didn't say from, I didn't say from a championship. I said from a, a deeper playoff run or even a finals appearance. They're just one piece away. They don't need to gut that entire team. Oh Boston doesn't need to gut their entire team. Brooklyn doesn't need to gut their entire team. You, you saw what that Thank Boston team looked like Brooklyn. when Katie and Kyrie left. That supporting cast is pretty – they can win games. It's pretty impressive. Thank like, you, you need it. another star. I just don't know if a $60 so, million dollar price tag – is something you're willing to pay when you're not that far gone. Let's go to the betting expert, the betting business financial manager, okay? Money manager. Liv, um, wh wh what's your bet on Dane? Does he stay or does he go? He stays. Damn. <laughs> Damn. In, in typical lover boy fashion, he stays put. Damn. Okay. If, if we being honest, Lover right? Boy. Like Portland's Portland's roster isn't that bad. That's why I just don't know why they're not able to have success. They're not bad. Because because if if you look, if you're Portland and you draft a guy like Scoot Henderson, you you but might then have, you got to wait on him for squad. but then you got to wait on him for three years. Three? You don't? You don't? No, you, you don't. don't. He, I think Scoot he could Henderson. Right away. What? How how long did it take? Uh, and I'm not trying to argue. I'm just. It's a real question. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
how long did it take KD to like really dominate him and Russ? Was it year? Did they? Did it? Was it year three? They made it to. It wasn't the finals. Did they make it to the finals together and got smoked? What about the the Cavs? Was it? I think maybe a better no, comparison we're, to be we're like. We're talking a, more about a team, a player coming out of the draft. Yeah. And being no, NBA. That's, what, right? that's why I'm, I brought that up because that's the first like uh, case that came to mind. It's like you have a special talent like KD. When did KD really become KD when he was able to really impact, you know, the game in a way where his team can have success in postseason? And that's the thing with Dame. It's like, yeah, you can go get a player like that, Corey. Mm -hmm. All right, but how can, is he really the player that's going to get you over the hump? Because, you know, usually a player like that might take a couple years for him to really morph into what he's going to be. I, if I'm Dame, I'm not waiting a couple more years. I'm just not. Yeah. Man. Okay, yes. but he also has to be realistic about the situation, right? Here, here, Here's where my frustration with Dame comes into play. I understand not wanting to wait because you're of a certain age and you don't want to wait to go ahead and make a run. But you knew what it was when you signed up, Dame. There was a window of opportunity for you to leave because that was always, that was always going to be the problem in Portland. Once CJ left and that team kind of started to dismantle and they started to draft younger – and there were younger guys now in that roster, there's always going to be growing pains with a team like that. It's never going to be an instant fix. You're not drafting Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? And yeah, maybe but, Michael Jordan needed some work. Yeah, but most, like, athletes, it, most athletes think that, you know, it takes, it takes some time for an athlete to finally realize that, like, oh, shit, I need help from management or I do need more help here. Some Most athletes think eventually it's going to happen this year. You even this, had, I forgot, there was somebody. It's 10 years to figure I, that out? Yeah, it takes time. It takes 100%. It took me damn near, you know, I'm a slow blinker at times. It took me 11 years <laughs> to finally realize, like, bro, stop going to these bad teams. <sighs> the Jets, Brandon. damn, the Dolphins. Like, yep. come on, Brandon. enough's enough. <laughs> like, Brandon, Ashley, let me tell you this. Here's my classic moment. You, Hold on real quick. If it took you 11 years, you a real slow blinker. Ashley, <laughs> listen to this. Yes. Ashley, year 10. Okay, I'm still kind of my prime. Another big year, 1,500 yards in that all-pro all year. I got an opportunity to get traded from Chicago. Remember, Jay Cutler was the quarterback to the New England Patriots. New England Patriots wanted to trade for me the year they won the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I looked at it and I said, man, Jay Cutler looked real good. He might win MVP this year the way he's showing up to OTAs. Mm -hmm. And I chose to stay in Chicago with Jay Cutler than take the New England Patriots trade with freaking Tom Brady. Mm. Well, you a real slow brinker, Brandon. <laughs> like, I don't know, you, like, really slow. You kind of like, like damn, you loyal. One eye per yeah. minute blinker. Because, like, one Mississippi per blink. Right, like, <laughs> not even, like, five Mississippis per blink. Like, it's just, <laughs> there's a point where it's like, you have to Ooh. look at your situation, and there have been multiple instances with this Portland Trailblazers team that has shown that it's either one or two options. It's either going to be A, a lot of work, and you just got to stick through it, or B, it's going to be a lot of work, and you just say, listen, right. I don't want to put in the work. Here we are. Like, I tried it. I did it for X amount of years, but I'm not willing to do this at this stage in my career. And there's nothing wrong with that. But let's not go ahead and pretend okay. like the writing hasn't been on the wall of what this Trailblazers bet, team was bet, going to bet. be let's bet. for since X you, amount of since years. You like Stevie the bet. Wonder saw it coming. It's not, you... that <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not that hard to figure it on out. His iPad. This was a team that you know what, though? Works. Actually, she brings up a good point about the years thing because I feel like the problem in this league I know that we're a ring, we're stuck in the ring culture. Like that's not going to go away. But it's like the timing of everything that I think is where we get very thrown off because these superstars want to they want to go to a team and win right now. It's like, well, it doesn't always work like that. Like there's there's an adjustment period. There's a like Ashley said, money management situation of okay, is this person worth three of these people that we've now built chemistry with? It doesn't happen overnight. But then you've got the other side of the spectrum. The lover boy side of the spectrum mm, where okay, how many years go by before you go this is not the place that i'm going to be successful and win a ring and maybe he doesn't care about winning i mean to mm -hmm. me right now fine. that's the impression i get that he doesn't care about winning because oh, if he right. did i think he would have left a long time ago 